Next on the list is, uh, let's put that rocker arm on there while we're here. Let's, uh, let's put that rocker arm on there. And, and, and I'll show you a couple of things here as we go. The rocker arm is, is this thing right here. It's got that there adjustment bolt in there like that right there. And then it's got this uh, cinch up nut goes on the outside out there. And that's the way that looks. This little thing right here on the top right there, well, we got it out here where we can see it. That's that's the part that that then these springs are available. Just kind of do a search on it. Uh, up there on Harry's old engines, I very seldom ever talk about Harry's old engine website. Uh, smokestack, uh, engine ads, uh, you know, they got show scheduled. I mean, they got everything up there. Uh, it's the Internet uh, 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 Information Center for these old engines, let's say. There's a lot of information there. Harry's old engine, and I do have an account up there. Uh, I very seldom ever go up and read it, but, uh, you know, just if, if you're over on Harry's old engine, site and you've got a question uh, leave it here on this on this YouTube page as a comment or uh, even a private message and, and I'll try to do a, a visual on it let's say but what I've done Yunner, and this was a used one uh, but in, in order to get that to fit a little bit better I took a round file and made a little gap right there on the side of that and a little clearance on the inside there it had some of that uh, casting flash still in there so I kind of lightened that up and made that fit a little better but these springs uh, replace a spring that just you know they're available and uh, it's uh, just mm, kind of cheap put you a new spring on there that's uh, just a little bit of oil pre pre oiling, and the way that thing oils, the way this thing works, it's got a hole down in yonder. Don't put no grease on this. It's got a hole down in the center yonder, and it comes out right there on the side, and that goes right down in there like that right there. Now these right here, the way they were, is is this shoulder right here, either either the the bolt head on this side of wire or the bottom of this wire or that wire or the top of our wire and you end up that these these two positions here are mismatched that's where you get your play in there as well as the roundness too but with uh, with that said that's uh it's that's just about all they are to it you 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 do not want to have if it's worn you actually can put a shim, whichever way it's worn, to make this center of this bolt right here line up with the center of your valves. That's the objective. But there is an easy way of putting this, putting this spring, putting this all together. There's an easy way, and and just let's just do it this way right here. And I do anticipate having to. I did put a little thread, little. I put a little little oil in there. And, and there is a reason not to not to grease something that's going to be oil. There is just it it it's just uh, now uh, the the one of the 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 information that I can give you here is if you're looking at the, this adjustment screw rocker arm adjustment bolt screw here. And looking at the end of the valve, you can see that that you can see that the valve is not center lined with this screw right here. It's off a little bit. Okay, there there is play in this bracket right here. So what we have to do is uh, we we have to get that loose at the play. And uh, if you remember, I tightened that up there really tight. So let's let's untighten it. Okay, and the one in the bottom down there. Let's get that and untie it. Put, put your two wrenches together and and and, and undo them. 
and free that up a little bit. Now that's a good thing about that gasola gasket sealer is you can let go of it and catch it again. You don't lose your seal. Now, uh, see see how much that moves. It's loose. It, it's got quite a bit of play on that half inch bolt. So just watching with that being loose, then I can move it, twist it this way, and you see that rocker arm come up and it got dead center on that on that uh, valve head. So what I want to do is it needs to go this way right here. So I'll put that, I'll hold that twisted, and then I'll retighten these bolts holding what I have there. <clears throat> Don't let it get away. Now let's tie that first. Okay. Okay, now I'm going I'm going to tighten these up with that two wrench method, if you remember. These needs to be tight. I'm going to hold a little pressure on that twist down there to maintain what I had. <clears throat> that's pretty tight. That's tight. That's tight as can be. Okay, let's get to that bottom up down there. Get you a good good fit on your wrench. <clears throat> and don't want to make no no uh you don't want to end up with no boogers on that's good. You don't want to end up now you see that right there? That's as good as that's gonna get. And it's almost a, a full contact. All right. Now the spring. See the spring is loose. All right. So I made no attempt to tighten that spring up as yet. I put a little oil right there. In there. And you put this nut here. You put that nut down there. And you tighten up this bottom down here. This bottom. That that rocker arm bolt. You tighten that up. Some of them, the way they're worn, they will they will lock up the rocker arm. But you tighten that up. Okay, see that's oh that's really good. I didn't I, well I did anticipate that too. Okay. Oh yeah. Okay, side play maybe uh what three thousandths or so hardly no side plate i'm talking about it like wobbling like this right here maybe three thousandths or something too that's really good and i didn't even check that as yet now we got that tight down there now we have to tighten up this top bolt up here and when you tighten up that top bolt you have to hold the bottom Hold the bottom bolt down there. Don't put no twist on nothing. And then tighten up. Tighten up his top bolt. <clears throat> Lock them together. Now, see, we still got... Oh, that's nice. And be aware that the adjusting end of the rock arm goes to the valve, not out here on the push rod. Now it's time to uh, it's time to put that spring where it's supposed to go. It's free so far. Okay, what you do is bring that up there, and and it's just a piece of no piece of copper wire I got here twisted together. You put that up there like that right there, and then you come around here and you catch that eyelet, and then you pull that around here. Get that get this up out of there. Pull that around here. Come on around. Put that around there like that. Put that around like that. And then make it go down on there. Okay. It has to be on that bottom ring down there. like that and then remove your remove your pull wire and uh, everything in place oh yeah that's nice 
Like I say, these uh, th these are available, and you do need one. Let's put a little oil down in there and right there. And that will maintain tension on that right there. And it's not hard to get in there. I will admit I was a fiddling around with it there. Uh, but but it's just not that hard to get that in there. That's all they are to that. Clean it as you go. And we cannot do any adjustments. A, a, preliminary, a preliminary adjustment on this is, uh, you know, just give this a wide... That would have helped putting that spring on there had I did this beforehand. Just that way out here like that, uh, loose, and that will give you a, uh, uh, we'll adjust everything back here. And, and, and we want to kind of come out when everything's adjusted to where this rocker arm is straight across. It's not adjusted this way or two, four in that way is more than you can get it. 